Welcome, my name is Max Hackman and today I'm going to show you how to do a basic search using the Academic OneFile database. The first thing you do after you get to the Daytona State College Library website is scroll down on the right hand side of the page there will be a link directly to the databases. This will bring you to an alphabetical listing of all the databases we have and luckily Academic OneFile is the first one to show up so you don't even have to scroll or click anything else. I've already logged in. If you have any troubles logging in we have a tutorial for that or you can email us or chat with us and we can try to help you that way. Um, once we get in here, uh, the first data or the first uh, search bar you're going to see is actually the subject search guide. The you have different options here that you can search, and you can actually have more options if you scroll below as well. Uh, to do a basic search here, we're just going to use the top search bar. Um, as you can, as I start typing, uh, suggestions are going to come in. So we're going to do a climate uh, climate change is the uh, search we're going to do here. Give it a second. All right, now we can see the results. Uh, so we have 97,000 journals in these results. So we have quite a bit of results here. Um, the limiters are over here on the right-hand side of the page. If we just want to look for peer-reviewed journals, we can do that. Let's see how that narrows it down for us. All right, so we're down a little bit. Um, there's also different ways within here you can search as well. You kind of narrow that down, so document type. So if we just want to look at articles, we can kind of narrow that down here. We select that. And we click apply. Hopefully that'll bring us around 40,000 results here. Perfect, there it is. Um, if you ever want to go back, you can just click these uh, X's and these uh, your uh, applied filters, and we can go back that way. Um, once you do find a article that will work for your project, you select the title, and we'll go in and get some more background information. So the title will be here at the top. Um, the tools that you may need are up here at the top as well. So the citation for this article is here. Um, once you select it, you'll get three different options between MLA, APA, and Chicago style. Um, remember that these are uh, machine generated, so you'll want to double check them, but they are a great starting point. Um, you can send it to somebody else or send it to yourself. Get link is actually the hyperlink, which is available right here then, and that'll bring you right back to this uh, article. Uh, this up here is actually a timed link and won't bring you back here, so that's kind of the difference between the two. Um, if you scroll down here, uh, you can actually listen to this article if you highlight a word. Um, it'll play the word for you. You can actually download the whole thing in MP3 format. Uh, and then you also have the ability to download. This is the download button. So you can download this article as well. And then you have a number of different op options to save it as well. So you can do uh, Google Drive or Microsoft uh, OneDrive. Uh, both of those options are here available for you. Um, if you have any more questions or need help uh, searching, please reach out to us uh, either through chat or email. Thank you.